going to take some time for sure. But right now, let's dig a little deeper into why young children are now being required to wear a mask here in Michigan. And joining us live this morning is Dr. Molly O'Shea from Birmingham Pediatrics. Dr. O'Shea, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm happy to be here. Thanks. And we've just mentioned the recent state data showing child infection rates here are now higher than they've been at any point during this pandemic. Why do you think this mask rule for ages two to four is just being implemented now? I think there are a couple of reasons. One is that in the past with the original COVID virus, you know, the mother virus, children were less apt to be ones to get sick and less apt to spread the virus. With the new variants, both the South African variant and the uh, British variant, kids are more apt to both contract the virus and spread it. And because children aren't just getting mild illness anymore, some kids are actually getting a bit sicker, the idea is to both protect them and protect their caregivers. Well, let's talk a little bit more about that risk when it comes to variants. What else do parents need to, to know? Because we have heard the dominant UK variant can impact kids more than the original COVID mutation, as you mentioned. Yeah, so parents do need to be a little bit more vigilant about symptoms that they see in their children. What they might have just passed off as allergies or a mild cold, they should take seriously at this point, given the variants that are circulating in the community and get tested. I know there's been some resistance to testing for some parents because it's an uncomfortable procedure, uh, but I do think knowing is better than guessing. Very important to find out what is actually making your child sick. The mask mandate yes. for children who are two to four has been met with some resistance. Could wearing a mask for potentially hours at a time lead to health consequences for children as young as two, three or four? No, it definitely will not. And even children with asthma, even children with other underlying health conditions like autism will do well wearing a mask. Obviously, it's tricky. And I think the reporter did an amazing job of giving, um, you know, the data behind mask wearing and examples of how to help kids wear masks. But no, it will not affect their health, their underlying health. There will be a very rare number of children who should not wear masks. Um, um, and and who are those children? Those children will need to be um, decided by their specialists. So if you see a bunch of specialists at a children's hospital, then talk with those specialists about whether your child should wear a mask. Very important to consult with your physician if you have any questions. Dr. Molly O'Shea from Birmingham Pediatrics, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.